Welcome to Friday. It is Meet the Press Daily. I'm Chuck Todd, continuing MSNBC special coverage of the coronavirus pandemic. We passed a grim milestone today. More than 50,000 Americans have now died from this virus, and the number is likely much higher due to insufficient testing. At this rate, in just a few days, more Americans will have died from coronavirus over a span of roughly nine weeks than died in the Vietnam War over a span of 12 years. And in the face of the economic calamity that's also hit our country, some states have begun implementing plans to reopen. But as you can see on your screen, the curve of confirmed new cases and new deaths is yet to show a consistent decline in this country. It's a plateau. More than 2,600 people died yesterday alone. There were 34,000 new cases. And while testing capacity is starting to increase, we still haven't even tested 1.5% of the population yet. And we are almost at the end of April. It is a harsh reality facing this federal government as we brace for today's White House briefing, scheduled to begin in roughly 30 minutes. And colliding with that harsh reality is the almost farcical collection of statements today from the maker of Lysol, from the U.S. Surgeon General, and from state health departments like Maryland reminding people to check with their doctors before starting any treatments. And please don't ingest or inject disinfectants into your body, even though the president asked his medical team to investigate it as a potential treatment. And then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or or almost a cleaning, because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that so that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds it sounds interesting to me. As the blowback against the president's comments intensified today, he tried to, for lack of a better word, gaslight us into believing that he did not tell his advisors what you just heard him tell his advisors. Your comments about injections of disinfectant, they're, they're quite no, provocative. I was asking a question sarcastically to reporters like you just to see what would happen. I was asking a sarcastic and a very sarcastic question to the reporters in the room about disinfectant on the inside. But you were okay. asking your medical experts to look into it. Uh, were you being no, sarcastic no, 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 with no. them? To look into whether or not sun and disinfectant on the hands, but whether or not sun can help us. There isn't much else to say. You just saw it because there is perhaps no better of an indictment of the president's handling of this crisis than just hearing him suggest that ingesting disinfected could treat the virus and then hearing him claim he didn't say what we just heard him say. And I know what some of you might be thinking in this moment. Why would we air the president live today after all this? Because we think that letting you see the president unfiltered in the moment He's the American, he's the elected president, especially during a national crisis like this one. At this moment, is simply put, a very important thing for American citizens to see right now. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor, subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Meet the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.